Alirio joined the band uh, as a result of something that no one wanted to happen, right? Uh, you were very close to Andrea, and you were like the last person to be all together with the Avantasia band and the Shaman band to share the stage with Andrea. And uh, you played together with him like June 2 and June 8, he passes away. How shocking was receiving this news? Oh, it was super shocking. It was like, the point was we played, was it two and eight? I don't know. It June was two. just a couple of, yeah, possible. And so we played and I, have, I haven't seen Andre before for a while. So uh, luckily, actually, when we came, uh, came to the hall, they were not on stage yet. So mm -hmm. uh, I visited him in, into his, in, his, uh, in the backstage area. He had his own room. And it was really nice to see him. So we had a chat for 15 minutes or something. And then we had to move on because they had to enter stage. <laughs> And uh, we said like, okay, let's meet after the show, you know, but actually after our show, I can understand probably. Nobody was left <laughs> from <Yaman. laughs> We played Everyone for three home. and a half hours, right? And they were probably tired. And so I didn't see him afterwards. And then it was like, uh, there was a little party there and then we flew home the next day. And it was the last day of, uh, of a, a two month tour. Uh, just ar around the whole world basically a two and a half month and I mean when you come home so I was home uh, like two days after that you know it's a little bit of a travel right and uh, and then usually I'm, after something like this I'm home for two days and I don't know what's going on it's like oh whoa uh, you have to really world. adapt to the normal life again it really is very every, everything is different and when I was just fine in a way or adapted uh, I remember as it was to, as, if, as it was today I got the call and it was a very early stage of uh, it wasn't uh, public yet mm. uh, it wasn't public yet and I didn't believe it I said nah no no a very bad joke you know we had it we had it before and it's not possible we had it before because there was one time was a fake fake news thing about it the same uh, topic and I was like and then uh, it was Toby calling me actually, because uh, oh, AC. Tobias who told Toby. you? Yes. Wow. Because AC is a good friend of uh, the management of Andre, and AC called Toby right away, and Toby called me right away, and uh, I just couldn't believe it. But he said, "Like, no, it's really true. It's like firsthand, you know." And I was like, "Wow!" I was uh, really, really shocked really shocked and I was <laughs> super sad and it, it took me a while to to cope with it in a way to be honest because you know why it's like for we didn't see for a long time and when we met there I was so happy to see him and we always wanted to do something more maybe with Virgo or whatsoever you know and we're gonna talk and, about uh, this yeah and it's we we did so many it was just the last years so was just no possibilities right and he always wanted to come here. And that's what he said the last time I saw him. He said, like, when I'm in Sweden again, visiting my, uh, with my son, you know, mm -hmm. I, I take my Volvo car, you know, and we drive down and, and said, like, ah, we do this and that, and I show your son this and that, you know. And finally, because he wanted to come already once and it didn't work out. So, yeah, yeah I'm going to step into my car next time. And I said, I'm really happy you're you coming again, you know. And finally, we, we see again. So he was... Uh, we were really happy to meet each other after a while and uh yeah and then i realized wow it's uh, just sometimes life is a <laughs> fucking asshole right yes it's uh, uh and yeah it was not a not a very uh, pleasant time and uh still and i had many people calling me and and i had some interviews and stuff and it <laughs> always dragged me down completely when I had to talk about it. It was really bad because especially when I'm doing it here, it's uh, in the room where uh, where we worked uh, many times. In this room, for example, we uh, recorded many vocals and stuff like this. It's just a small room, but it's my, in my home and he stayed here wow. in my room maybe uh, for one and a half years all, in total. 
So right? this room so he, brings you a lot of memories of Andre, right? Yeah, just the whole house because he was here many times and for a long time usually. Maybe maybe two years. I don't really know. So he had his uh, room, uh, like a guest room upstairs. So uh, I always re remember him coming down like every morning. Uh, okay, Andre morning, three o'clock in the uh, afternoon <laughs> in his bath, bath robe and, you know, walking around the garden in his bath robe, collecting snails and picking flowers. And uh, he was a funny guy, you know, like a very particular and <clears throat> well, we shared some good good times and good talks since, yeah. the, since the very first day of Angra. All those memories, right? And uh, as I said, we were already sitting like for a long time at night when we recorded Angels Cry. Because many times I recorded his vocals throughout the night until seven in the morning. You know, he was really a night guy. And we were maybe recording until five and talking until seven and... Uh, we already talked about Virgo, for example, in the Angels Cry recording. Really? Right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we already that's we already planned to do this when uh, not not the name, of course, but uh, doing something together, you both to do something together, which is, you know, it it seems weird because it's now such a long time ago. But I felt like. Already, I was like always oh, doing this metal thing, and I have something else inside of me that I want to really uh, also do and try. And he had the same. We were like both in the, be the beginning of the twenties, you know. But we already were like in this uh, in this scene for a while, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so we, we we spent we had some tours in Japan and this and that, and a couple of albums out. And uh, we said, I always wanted. It sounded like we are old people, old people already. Which we were now basically more more or less, <laughs> and uh, so we were talking about this, and then we it took actually a long time until we did it, maybe eight years or something. Right? Yes. So we always wanted to do it, uh, and you and did it when he left Angra, right? When he left Angra, hmm. before joining, before doing Shaman. I don't actually remember anymore if he was still <laughs> in Angra when we did it. But uh, I think he was still in Angra when we started. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Uh, but I really, I don't remember, honestly. Uh, no, I don't remember. I think he was still maybe in Angra. Or, or, or there was a time of not uh, not working for a while with the band. Yes, but, but the oh. release, I'm pretty sure it was between... He, he live in Angra and he doing ritual yeah. with Shaman. Yeah. 